Welcome back to Universal Recaps. Today I'm going to explain a massacre tale in Texas, USA. The movie is released in 2022 called Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Spoilers ahead enjoy. Brutal Chainsaw Massacre in 1973, Lila asks the man about the massacre's survivor. She finds out Sally Hardesty the only survival of the incident spent decades as a Texas Ranger. So she could catch the killer, Leatherface. Lila rejoins her group. Her sister Melody, the business partner Dante and his fiancée Ruth. All of them are on their way to small ghost town called Harlow to open a restaurant. They arrive and Dante sees the Confederate flag which is hanging outside the orphanage. He goes inside with Melody to remove it. They come face to face with Virginia McCumber who used to run the orphanage and now stays there with her adopted son. Dante believes that the woman kept on staying at the place he owns and asks the sheriff to remove her from his property along with the flag. She insists that there must be some kind of misunderstanding but they forcefully pulls her outside when Virginia have heart attack. Virginia's son carries her to the van so she can be taken to the hospital. Ruth joins sheriff and they leave. Bank representative Catherine arrives with potential investors to Harlow on a bus. Dante introduces Melody to Catherine. On the way to the hospital Virginia dies which enrages her son. Ruth informs Melody that Virginia died. Virginia's son in his rage starts killing the sheriff and deputy. Deputy starts firing which hits the sheriff who was driving and the van crashes. Ruth gains consciousness and she sees Virginia's son skins her face and creating a mask with it. She uses the police radio to get help. The man at the gas station overhears it and phones Sally that Leatherface is back. Leatherface beats the sheriff brutally and attacks Ruth as well. Dante realizes his mistake of not having deed papers and goes inside the orphanage again with Melody to look for them. She finds the title proving that Virginia was speaking the truth and is still the owner of the property. While both of them are in the property Leatherface returns and starts slashing Dante with cleaver. Melody is hiding in the closet where she sees Leatherface applying makeup on his mask and holds on to Virginia's dresses. Leatherface makes a hole on the wall where he collects his chainsaw which was hidden. The investors not knowing what's happening in the property, moves the party inside the bus to avoid the sudden rainstorm. Dante somehow gets outside. Catherine and Richard sees that he is badly injured not long he passes away. Richard realizing something is wrong and Leatherface is back. He gives warning to Catherine that she needs to keep everyone inside the bus. He goes to confront the killer. Melody now hiding under the bed sees Richer and Leatherface fighting. Leatherface kills Richer by putting his neck on the broken window glass. Noticing the bus key which was with Richer, Melody collects it and tries to get out of the house. Leatherface notices Melody trying to escape and throws sledgehammer, which knocks her out into the cellar through the stairs. Lila and Melody escapes to the bus. Leatherface cuts off the head of the driver and starts to slaughter the investors and the sisters. As he kills his way through the bus Lila and Melody manages to escape from the bus. Sally arrives in Harlow after seeing the sight of van crash. The sisters seek shelter in Sally's truck. To kill the Leatherface finally Sally claims that she needs them as bait and locks them in the truck. With gun in hand Sally confronts Leatherface of what he did in 1973, and then demands him to acknowledge her of who she is. Leatherface doesn't remember her and that upsets Sally. In the truck sisters gets attacked once again. To kill the Leatherface Sally shoots at him but he impales Sally with his saw. By using Sally's truck Melody tries to run over Leatherface but it ended up crashing. Melody gets severely injured and tells the sister to run. But Lila comes back to save the sister from Leatherface. The sisters try to fight Leatherface again and Sally shoots at him one more time while she is bleeding out. He runs to hide in the movie theater. Lila runs to save her sister when Sally tell her if she runs now Leatherface will keep on haunting them. Sally dies. Lila faces Leatherface and shoots at him with the help of Melody. With no more bullets left Melody slashes Leatherface with his chainsaw. He falls into the flooded hall and sinks. As night is ending, Lila and Melody leaves town with Tesla's autopilot mode. Suddenly Leatherface appears and the pull Melody through the passenger side and saws her head off. Totally helpless Lila screams as car keeps on pulling away. Movie ends with Leatherface returning to the farm he lived back in 1973. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on the notification and leave a like to support the channel out. Thank you for watching.